Alright, quick video exposing the fact that the new IFB is Steven Anderson, and Steven Anderson is the new IFB. You see, they can try to deny that they're a cult all they want, but the truth of the matter is that without Steven Anderson, there would be no new IFB. Steven Anderson is the head of the new IFB, and he exerts very Pope-like control over the new IFB, and, and Pope-like influence over the new IFB. Okay, there's no independence with this group whatsoever because the puppet pastors are getting their doctrine from Steven Anderson and all these puppet pastors in the new IFB are clearly more afraid to offend Steven Anderson than to actually please God and, and preach out of the word of God. Because nobody before Steven Anderson has ever, you know, formulated their specific little set of heresies that they uh, push out. So here's a clip from a preacher named Wesley Tomlinson outlining the fact that the new IFB their doctrine comes from the headquarters in Arizona, led by Stephen L. Anderson, the Pope of the new IFB. Check this out. And what's amazing about this is this new independent fundamental Baptist movement with Stephen Anderson in his uh, select churches that follow after him. Not only is Stephen L. Anderson changing, but the churches involved with him are changing. Why? Because they get their doctrine from headquarters. They get their doctrines from, from Tempe, Arizona. They get their doctrines from Stephen L. Anderson. And I've seen churches, even one, I think of one in particular, a man got up and he preached and he actually said that Stephen Anderson called me on the phone and told me that he had my back and that, 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 that Stephen Anderson coached him on the doctrine of the Trinity and he actually preached a message and he said this, I was wrong on the doctrine of the Trinity. And he reversed his position on the doctrine of the Trinity because of Stephen L. Anderson's belief. Several other churches have done this because of Stephen L. Anderson. You say, well, what in the world? Why do they Why do, they do this? Because again, the, the new independent fundamental Baptist movement is Stephen L. Anderson. The truth of the matter is that the new IFP has very little in common with traditional Baptists. The main thing is that as much as they claim they're independent, there is no independence whatsoever. The biggest, the best example I like to cite is when uh, Romero had to step down, Anderson waltzes in and picks the new pastor for Steadfast, even though it's supposedly an independent Baptist church. I've done other videos outlining that, but that's not independent. It's an arm of his cult. And the fact is, is that whenever Anderson comes up and rebukes somebody, all the other, you know, all the other so-called new independent fundamental Baptist pastors follow suit and rebuke that same person. You know, when Anderson comes out against Sam Gibb, well, so you, you'll notice a trend where the other guys also come out against Sam Gibb. When Anderson comes out and rebukes Adam Fannin, the other guys come out and rebuke Adam Fannin. And some of these guys will cite Anderson. They'll, they'll, it's like they'll preach a sermon and sometimes it's word for word the same as Anderson. Or they'll just cite Pastor Anderson within the sermon. And it's like hardly time goes by before they're mentioning Pastor Anderson's name. It's always just Pastor Anderson, Pastor Anderson. Because why? Well, the doctrine comes from Stephen Anderson. The new IFB cult is basically just a compilation of Stephen Anderson's heresies. Plain and simple. So they can deny it all they want, but Stephen Anderson is indeed the Pope of the new IFB. Don't be deceived by this cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.